One thing you can be sure about, he'll keep Chelsea's feet in the ground. There's mm. Matthew Gould on Twitter. If you think Chelsea have one foot in the next round, think again. Yeah. I thought the same last season when Atletico played Liverpool. Remember that? Well, he's right. Sure. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I don't think he'll take it for granted. I think he's shuffling in his pack. It's no surprise. I mean, Frank Lampard was waxing lyrical about how much of a consummate professional uh, Juru is. He's got probably less miles on the clock or minutes on the clock because he spent a lot of time coming off the bench over the last two or three years. He's also keeping himself in shape for the European Championships. He's got plenty of confidence because his background as a World Cup winner will give him that. You know, he scored that wonderful Scorpion goal against Mylot Palace a couple of years ago. Um, and I think, you know, I said for once, for once I managed to get a prediction right because I said yesterday I thought Chelsea would beat um, Atletico and they did. i absolutely right. I don't think that there's anything to be taken for granted, but I think Tuchel is the real deal. I think he owns the space that he occupies. I think he's come in, he's not mucking about, whether it's hoiking off Callum Hudson-Odoi against the popular the sentiment the players can't be treated that way, yeah. whether it's shuffling his pack, whether it's taking the young players out to see what he's got first. He is a proper manager, and if they get past Atletico and they get a decent draw, I can see Chelsea doing some real damage in this tournament, and I can see them evening up the scores with his old club, because it wouldn't be a surprise to me, because football has this ability to throw out these really you know, coincidental circumstances where all of a sudden Chelsea draw PSG yeah. in the Champions League yeah. with Tuchel going back and saying, hello again. Yeah, remember me. Remember me. And I wasn't surprised last night, Simon, when when he started hudson Adoy After mm. all the hoo-ha of what went on at the weekend, he throws him in from he the start. Right. And I, when I spoke to Danny Murphy this morning about something else, and he was talking about Jamie Carragher's wonderful assessment of Callum hudson Adoy over the last two games, which sort of contradicted the notion that, in fact, he wasn't counter-pressing, wasn't chasing back, because, by definition, Carragher did this brilliant bit of journal, um, journalism and sports analysis on Sky on Monday evaluating that. But... What I believe is this guy knows the personnel he's got. If you're going to give somebody a telling off, Jim, as a, as a manager or an employer, you better know how they're going to receive it. Because if you don't know how they're going to receive it, what's the point of doing it? Because all you're doing is for yourself. This guy will know the buttons, will understand the dynamics of what he's doing. And I think they've got an opportunity, Chelsea, to have the real deal here. And he won't muck about in the middle of it. Yeah. He's your sort of guy, is he? Well, I just think, he's, I think he, he, he owns the, the, the... He puts out his stall and he doesn't look, look for any cover. Here I am, I've got 18 months to go, I've got to win a Champions League or a Premier League in that time. <laughs> Where you go. Yeah. That's what you want to hear, doesn't it? Yeah. Pay big bucks, get big players, get the job done.